Whoa! Look at Emily! Emily raising the roof over here, busting the moves! How are you? She's unresponsive, <laughs> okay? Don't let me ruin your groove, girl! You go! Good morning! And uh, welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm just uh, crying myself to sleep here, practicing for tonight. After the luau and being rejected by all the ladies in town when I asked them to dance. So I just got a tear here in my head. Tear. It's not a tear. It's actually a frozen geode. And we'll get that checked out today at some point, hopefully after or before the luau. But anyway, <laughs> let's get rolling. <laughs> There's lots of farming stuff to do this morning before we uh, head over to the luau. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. That's lovely. That's for tomorrow, of course. Today is also clear and sunny. And let's check with the whack job number two here. Spirits are going to be somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on our side. That does not bode well for us heading to a dance. And we have a new episode of Living Off the Land with Farmer Green Beans. And check that out. His mouth is going a mile a minute. Starting tomorrow, an unusual amount of shells and corals are expected to wash up on the beaches all around the world. I'm no scientist, but I've heard it's something to do with crab mating season. At any rate, you can make some good coin combing your local beach. All right, thanks, farmer. Green beans, and now let's get rolling. We have lots to do this morning. And uh, we got some mail here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's from the mayor. Pudgewood, I've heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's Best Neighbor Award with a small cash prize. Keep it up, Mayor Lewis. 500 gold in clothes. Hey, that's pretty nice. Maybe I get that every month. All right, so I have some crops to tend to here. It doesn't look like we have anything to harvest. The melons aren't quite done. Oh, the luau has begun on the beach. It's now 9 o'clock, guys, and it's going to go until about 2 p.m., so as long as we show up on the beach between 9 and 2, we can partake in the festivities. But before we go, there's a couple more things I want to do. By the way, I just got those torches out of soggy newspaper from the recycle bin. That's cool. Um, now, we have to bring something for the potluck, right? Now, we were advised to bring a high quality produce so the word on the street is to bring your bestest highest qualityest um vegetable including the star belly variety so i think i think that's this radish right here so we're gonna bring that along for the potluck and uh and i think i'm gonna leave my sword here too because the governor's gonna be there and i don't think it would be a very good first impression to waltz in with a, uh, a packing, packing a weapon. <laughs> so we do have to be on best behavior for him. And I think that's everything. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Again, there's no rush because once you get there, time just stops. And um, you can spend all the time in the world mingling. So we might as well take care of a few things here in town before we get down there. We just have to get there before 2 o'clock. Oh, let's check the board. We've got a Help Wanted sign up. Nice. It's from Sebastian. Feel like throwing a tomato as hard as I can against the mountain face. Please deliver to Sebastian at 24 Mountain Road. 180 gold on delivery for a tomato. So our delinquent here can throw it against a mountain face. <laughs> okay, Sebastian, I guess I can handle that. I've got some tomatoes being uh, grown right now, actually. Um, oh, you know what? We missed Maro's birthday yesterday, guys. I completely forgot to give her a gift. I'm so dumb. Shoot, we'll have to apologize to her today at the luau. Tomorrow, nothing, and then Alex's birthday on Saturday the 13th. Hopefully we don't miss that one. Okay, 10.40 in the morning, and uh, let's go... Well, let's go get close to the beach, and maybe we'll just do some fishing. Oh! <laughs> it's the mayor! What is he doing? He's working in his garden! Mayor, did you forget about the luau? The saloon gets pretty lively at night. I know it does, but dude, there's a luau. I like to visit once a week or so to catch up on things and to get a taste of Gus's authentic spaghetti. Remember that, guys. Remember that he likes spaghetti. We can give that to him as a gift. Uh, but, Louis, you're in charge of the town. You're the mayor. You're supposed to meet the governor. Luau. Oh, boy. He is losing it, isn't he? 
actually. It's it's because the, the villagers actually do um, go about their business here in the day um, until I go to the luau, then suddenly everybody's there. It's like, poof, there they are. So we might as well fish. Let's use this time wisely and catch some seaweed. Oh, pfft. Elliot, you're leaving Luau so soon? That's too bad. Oh dear, my shoes are filled with sand. Elliot, you live on a beach, you dum dum. That's the trouble with living on the beach. <laughs> Leave me before I throw you over into the water with your cement shoes. Thank you. Oh, there goes Alex. Alex, what's up? Oh, Alex has a job to do, doesn't he? He works at the uh, ice cream vending booth. It's good to see the young man um, keep his priorities straight, right? Wow, this is a tough fish. Now, there's a river trout I need to catch, right? Some kind of trout. Oh, man. This guy's tricksy. I don't want to miss the Lua because of the stupid fish. And here comes Leah. What terrible timing. Leah, I will bring you to the Lua. Way. I got a pike. 18 inches. Stop. Hi. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. I know. We've looked together. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have four hearts with Leah. How do I have four hearts with Leah? I've been having fresh salads almost every day. Look how happy she is. Oh, hold on. Wait a second. That doesn't seem right. Oh, we do. Why is that? Just from talking to her, I guess, because I'm pretty sure we had three. Oh, see? So making small talk. It helps. Wait, wait, wait. I will escort you down to the Lua. Where'd she go? Oh, no. She's talking to Elliot. Smelly Elliot. Urgh. All right, anyway, uh, look at everybody here having a good time. Look at the spread. Four gigantic banquet tables. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, there's the mayor. He did forget. And it looks like that must be the governor next to him. He looks like the uh, Burgermeister Meisterburger from uh, Santa Claus is coming to town, the old claymation show as a kid. Hopefully he's not that scary because that guy is scary. All right, let's go say hi to the mayor, and then we're going to mingle a little bit. We, like I said, I, there's no time here, so we've got all the time in the world. There's no time pressure. That's what I love about these events. Hi, mayor. Glad you made it. Look sharp. The governor is here for his annual visit. Oh, thanks for the tip. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. Oh, the soup cauldron, right, that makes sense. I see it down there. That must be what Marnie's stirring. Okay, will do, thanks. I'm gonna go introduce myself to the uh, to the, to the governor here. Let me just take my hat off. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Hi, governor, my name's Punchwood. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Stardew Valley, hope you like it. <laughs> what a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. You know, you sound a lot like Pam. You're not related, are you? <laughs> or maybe just smoke too much. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. That's a great idea. There's lots of space. Well, enjoy your day, sir. I'm going to go and talk to the rest of the townsfolk. Nice to meet you. All right, so we met the governor. Seems like a cool dude. Um, how about if we walk around from left to right? We'll do like a big circle, okay? Check out the speakers on the dance floor. Wow. Oh, Shane. How you doing, buddy? That's my best pal. Wow, you don't get hot chutney like this in the big city. What do you... How do you know? You don't even... You're not from the city. You lived here your whole life. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's go say hi to Demetrius and his lovely wife, Robin. Hi, Demetrius. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? <sighs> you need to exercise more, Demetrius. Hi, Robin. Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. Oh, he's such a klutzy guy, isn't he? But he's smart, so it makes up for it. Whoa! Look at Emily! Emily, raising the roof over here, busting the moves. How are you? She's unresponsive, <laughs> okay? Don't let me ruin your groove, girl. You go. Oh, here's the kids. Hi, Jess. Vincent isn't a good dancer. Well, that's because he's like five. <laughs> Give the kid a break, hey, Vin Dog. I'm bored. <laughs> he looks so happy, though. He looks happy, but he says he's bored. Well, go play in the sand. It's a beach. Oh, man. Oh, here we got George and Evelyn. Hey, Georgie. That music. It's too loud. Can't I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? George. It's the day of the luau. The beach is here 365 days a year. The luau is here one day. You know, you could have... Whatever. 
Hi, Evelyn. Ah, the smell of ocean takes me back many years. Long before you were born, Sonny. Uh, the name's Punchwood. No, Sonny. Okay. Have a nice day. What do we got here? We got Haley and Alex. Okay, let's talk to Haley. I'm gonna put my hat back on. I don't think people recognize me with that mop up there. There we go. Hi, Haley. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. <laughs> I guess that means we're not gonna dance today? I can't talk to her anymore anyway. I don't think we can dance at the Lua, I'm not sure. Hey, Alex, how are we doing, pal? Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Yeah, let's party! Rock on! Okay, bye. Oh, here's Sebastian. Hi, pal. How's it going? One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Oh, that sly devil. Ever wondered why Sam leads the town in community service hours? <laughs> he's a mischievous little punk, isn't he? That's Sam, that, uh, wait, who was it? Sam? Yeah, oh, Sam. Yeah, he's a punk. Oh, by the way, I got that. I'll get you that tomato pretty soon, okay? I got some growing. Keep it on the down low. Right, right, right. We got Abigail over here on the, uh, on the dock all by herself. Hi, Abby. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. I feel the same way sometimes, Abby. So, you know what? I'll leave you in peace. Have a nice time. All right, let's, uh, oh, it's Clint. Hey, pal. I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Uh, it's a beach, it's a luau. There's sand you can play in. Um, you can swim, you can chat, and uh, you can you can eat. Okay, there we go. And we got Jody here. I hope the soup is good this year. Oh, I hope so too. Speaking of soup, oh, thanks for reminding me. I gotta go do my thing. How Marty? Hi. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. I, that's what I thought. Okay. Climb it up, climb it up, climb it up, and just touch it. Just touch it! Oh, how about a pike? Actually, that pike's pretty nice. But no, it's supposed to be produce. I think they specifically said produce. So here, I'm tossing my radish in. It's a star belly. I've added radish to the soup. I hope that, I hope that it's good. Uh, oh, here's Pam. Hey, Pam. <laughs> Free buffet. One of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. <laughs> I will. If it's free, it's for me, Pam. And uh, you're, you're coming for the wine, aren't you? Yep, she's coming for the wine. I was going to say hi to Gus. These blasts of sand flies keep landing on the food. <laughs> you're doing a good deed, Gus. Keep smashing them. All right, let's, uh, oh, we got, uh, oh, man, I always forget the green-haired girl. Caroline, I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. <laughs> I can smell them. It smells delicious. Good job, Caroline. How are you, Pierre? Hmm, maybe if I can get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. Oh, definitely. Listen, bribes work with politicians. I'd give him the whiskey and then see where it goes, right? I mean, the worst he could do is throw you in the slammer for trying to bribe him. Anyway, <laughs> I'm saving those two for last. Let's go talk to Doc Harvey here. Good thing I came with sunscreen. You need it. I'd slather more on there, my friend, because you look like you're burning. Maru, I'm so sorry I missed your birthday yesterday. Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. Oh, good, she forgot. Uh, anyway, I went in deliberately yesterday to give you a gift and I completely forgot, but I'll get you next year. <laughs> Linus, that smells delicious. What is it? A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. Oh, it is. And you are you are an expert. Mmm, can't wait. I was wondering what this uh, fire pit was for, but now I know. Check out the TV torches. This is so cool. Oh, we got Penny. Oh, wait, I'm talking to Sam first, I guess. Governor? Who cares? What, you don't like the governor? Why should I care about some random old guy? If it weren't for old guys, you wouldn't even be here, Alex. So uh, show a little respect, would you? Hi, Penny. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. That is such a great idea. I hope he likes the soup. We're going to find out, right? Because I think he eats it later is what happens. And then we get raided on it. <laughs> hey, Marlin. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Marlin. You don't need air to make you cool, man. You're the coolest cat here with that eye patch and that uh, uh, cape. Yeah, man. Rock on. And then we got Elliot here. Elliot, how's your back? How's your sore little backy back? I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. 
I forgot that today was the luau. It's a public beach, Elliot. Anybody can come here anytime they want and have a luau, so you chose to live here, man. Hey, Leah. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. Oh, it is. It is indeed. And I'm going to make you another salad very soon. And by the way, you look radishing. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, I think that's everybody, right? Are we, are we not missing... Who's Willy? Willy the fisherman. Does he not come to the luau? I don't see him. Maybe he's over here on the docks. Let's go down farther on the docks. Because we're missing one dude. Oh, it's the wizard! Oh, M. Rasmodius all the way down here. Mr. M. Rasmodius, what's cooking? The mer people are curious about your festivities. Are they then? They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Oh, I don't litter, sir. I just catch the litter and pull it out. But uh, anyway, nice to see ya. Why don't you come mingle? All right, let's go find Willie. Oh, there's Willie. You can tell the antisocial people from the social people, can't you? <laughs> Hi, Willie. Hi there, Punchwood. Taking a breather? I sure am. What you doing here by yourself? To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. Yeah, I'm right there with you, bud. All right, let's get our poles and just fish. What do you say? Uh, seems like you want to be alone, though, so <laughs> I'm going to head back and try the soup anyway. <laughs> Okay, soup's coming up, Abigail. I'm going to get this shindig rolling. I think I need to go talk to uh, the mayor to get things started here. I just want to make sure I talk to everyone. Yeah, pretty sure, pretty sure. Okay, here we go. Mayor, should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yes, let's start. Oh, here we go. I got to sit up for this. I hope he likes my gold star belly radish. Oh, here we go. Everybody's gathered round. And where, where, where am I? Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high-quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope not. Here we go. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Ooh, here he goes, here he goes. I'm so nervous. Of course! I've been looking forward to this all year. Oh gosh, the pressure! Oh, he whipped out a spoon. Slurping it down. Don't you double dip now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What does that mean, three dots? <gasps> that's it. Was that a happy face? Oh, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. <laughs> Whew, man, that's awesome. Oh, mayor's going to have some. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Now, who else wants some soup? <laughs> Everybody grab some soup. Oh, fantastic! The luau was a success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. T uh, time to head home. Okay, time to head home. Oh, perfect, guys. That was great. Oh, look at this. We got coal, too, from uh, from trash. Well, that's good. So we got... Uh, what do we get? We got iron and coal out of this trash right here. Let's throw another one in, and let's sell that pike. Star belly pike. Well, I'm missing looking down at other things. Here we go. Get in there. Hey, so that's great. So um, I'm not really sure what happens when you get a positive luau. I think you get a positive effect from uh, for the villagers and their opinion of you. Like you know, a little bit in here. Probably not very much, but that was the the, the word on the street. So it's a good idea to use your best quality produce, as you can see there. So anywho, I think. I guess we're done. I guess we're done here. It's 10.40 p.m. There's really nothing else to do. Do the geodes um, when the spirits are feeling better. Yeah, and I didn't see anybody selling at the luau. Did you guys? Because they usually have stuff to uh, to purchase there. Let's crank that up. Um, yeah, I guess we're good. Let's go to bed. Let's hop in and see what we did for the night here. I guess let's go to sleep. Here endeth the 11th of summerth, year oneth. And we made 210 gold. Oh, plus the 500 for being the best citizen or something. And that's the end of the day. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed the luau. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.